ladies and beautiful people and welcome back to another Pentatonix reaction video. If this is my first Pentatonix reaction video in the new year, I just want to say a happy new year to all of you. I'm not sure if it is, it would have been close, right? We did a one around Christmas. So, I've had this recommended quite a lot for a long time now and that is Pentatonix with Lindsay Sterling and you all know how much I love Lindsay Sterling with their song Over the River, the official music video. I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short. I think you've all waited long enough for this reaction. How about I stop talking? Do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe. We're so close, so close to 400,000. So please press that subscribe button. And let's jump into my first time ever reaction to Pentatonix and Lindsay Sterling's Over the River. Like it really needs to be mentioned before we get into this further that in terms of like art style it looks perfect every shot of this opening with the violin and the cello as well the intensity of them fantastic but every single shot looked like a, a scene from an art gallery absolutely beautifully filmed man beautifully and again violin and the cello with that build up stunning over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go what? The horse knows no way to carry the sleigh through wide and drift it Over the river and through the woods So how the wind does blow It stings the toes, it bites the noses Over the ground it goes. Song. My first experience with this song is from South Park. But Butters goes to see his family, he brings Cartman along or something. No, Cartman goes to see his family, he brings his friends along, and they're singing this song the whole way there. That's my first experience with this song. That, that and I like I, I did not realize it was gonna be that song. How did Pentatonix take a song like that and make it sound epic? How? At this point, if they did a cover of Humpty Dumpty, I'm telling you right now, it'd be as crazy and epic as a, a, a Linkin Park song from their Minutes to Midnight album. This song fucking kicks ass. This song is great. This song is so good. The cuts and everything like that. And I, I wanted to pause just to talk about like Lindsay Sterling's little kick and her smile. And Lindsay Sterling is just, it's just wonderful. She's such an awesome human. My word, this is so good. Over the ground like hunting hounds upon this Christmas day. Extremely slow, it's just so hard to wait. Yeah, screw it. Let, 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 I want that drop one more time. I want, I want that one more time. My God, how they made this song so epic? How have they done this? How? It's like a damn wood kid song. I really feel like getting Lindsay starting on this was such an excellent choice. The way she like just controls that violin. Lindsay Sterling has attained the violin beyond human con like 
<laughs> like <laughs> understanding the way she plays the violin is just on a on a next level and i feel like bringing her on for this keeping that pacing and that intensity with the cello combined has just made this song brilliant especially with like the the, the like v- like amazing harmonies you've had in the background as well it truly has just made this song brilliant they have composed constructed and put together this perfectly absolutely perfectly it's so intense so fast paced and just fantastic and every shot is just masterful don't understand you know what it felt like it felt like pentatonix checked out the wood kid song iron right Do you guys know that song um they did another song with run boy run um but iron's probably their most famous right that's what it feels like it feels like they all sat down they checked out that song they checked out the music video and they're like oh i like this this is cool and they were like let's do a version of that so they did this and they just made it their own, made it crazy, used the song that I never thought anyone would ever use. Never in my life did I think that anyone would ever listen to Over the River and Through the Woods to Grandmother's House We Go, something to something to something to something, blah, 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 like that song, whatever, right? Never did I think anyone would listen to that and go, whoa, I reckon if we change this, tweak it a little bit, put some of this, some of that, we can make this epic. We can make this movie trailer worthy. Right? But somehow Pentatonic sat down, heard it, and that's what they took away from it. They were like, you know what? We can make this epic. Now, I don't know, I don't know how they came to that conclusion, but my word, however they got there, they were 100% right, because that is exactly what they did. They made this absolutely epic. They just did. It was, it was, it was amazing. It blows my mind that they were able to do that. Like I said, I made the joke, but yeah, it wouldn't even surprise me, like, Frippin' London Bridge is falling down. You know, London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. It wouldn't surprise me if we see a Pentatonix version of that and we just listen to it and it starts with like the flipping Inception. London Bridge falling down. And we're like, oh my God, or some, some shit like that, right? That's what it feels like. How do they do this? <laughs> I'm so confused that they took this song and made it that. Who comes up with these ideas? Who came up with this idea? And how did they pull it off? It's actually good. I'm not lying. You would think it would suck. That's the truth. You would. You would. If you heard, ah, oh, someone, if, 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 I'm not, if you hear the nursery rhyme or whatever it is, and you heard, ah, oh, yeah, Pentasox did a cover of this, you would immediately be like, what? What? Did they? What, for like children? Like, why did, what do you mean? And then you listen to it, you go, nah, this ain't a cover. Because it isn't. Somehow Pentatonix took the foundations of that song, changed it, amended it. They're scientists at this point. They went in a lab, they like fiddled with all the chemistry makeup of it or I don't even this can't even can't even be like one percent compared to the original. This is insane. This is insane. I don't understand. And the fact that they got Lindsay Sterling on this as well really does just hit home how amazing it is because the cello was fantastic and then having Lindsay Sterling with the violin, I feel like really just kept the like I feel like I got something in my eye, the room in my eye all video. Like a hair or something. Uh, and then having like, um, it just kept and maintained that like level of intensity that we had the whole way through this. It just like fast paced, epic, energetic, and just carry, it, like it carried on that the whole way through, you know? And then like it opened so amazingly. And then, and then having all of the members just harmonize behind all of that. Honestly, one of my favorite Pentasonic songs I've heard in ages. And like, so good. It's jumped to such high rankings in, in my opinion. It's, it's done so well. It's constructed does so well. The music video was shot beautifully. Every single scene looks like a work of art. It's so meticulous and perfectly crafted and blended. Everything looks fantastic. The music video is what I meant when I compared it to Wood Kids videos. It's like, it's so beautifully done. Ah, oh, this is freaking flawless. I'm mind blown with the song choice, mind blown with the music video. And the feature was just a little bow that tied it all perfectly together. Wow. Loved it. Absolutely freaking loved it. Well, my friends, I'm in the reaction there. I hope you all enjoyed it. 
Um, please make sure you put all your recommendations in that comment section down below. What other reactions would you love to see on this channel? Let me know. Recommendations down below. Do not forget to like. Do not forget to subscribe. Join the family. Press that subscribe button. And as always, my friends, you right there will see me in the next video.